2023年5月19日引退することを決めました気持ちいいじゃないですかね、はい、自分のやりきっていう気持ちいいですね<音楽>こんにちは and welcome to sumo prime time I'm Hiro Morita First of all, what a tournament it was in May, wasn't it? I hope you had a great time watching every moment of the competition. Now, I know a lot of people are already looking forward to the next tournament in July in Nagoya. But I'd like to take a moment today and reflect on an illustrious sumo career of a very popular wrestler who called it quits during the May tournament. And that is Tochinoshin. The retirement of Tochinoshin has left many sumo fans around the world with broken hearts. Gamarujoa, Sumo Prime Time! Former Ozeki Tochinoshin hails from Georgia. He used to outmuscle his opponent going chest to chest in Miyotu style, which is fighting with right hand inside and left hand outside position. He was famous for his powerful left out maneuvers. Tochinoshi made his debut as a professional Rikishi in the 2006 March tournament. With plenty of judo experience, Tochinoshin showed his potential from the start. In the 2008 May tournament, Tochinoshin was promoted to the top Makuchi division only two years after making his pro debut. Tochinoshin quickly became a host to be reckoned with. By consistently finishing with a splendid record. Many believed that he will soon become an Ozeki. But in the 2013 July tournament, Tochinoshin suffered a major injury in a match. He severely injured a ligament of his right knee. The injury forced the Georgian to miss the next three tournaments. As a result, he was demoted to the Makshita division. Tochinoshin wasted no time to make his presence felt again. As he won back to back Machita Division Championships in March and May. He continued to display an overwhelming strength by winning the next two competitions in the second tier Jurio Division. In November of that year, Tochinoshi was back. In the top Makuchi division. And there came a moment for Tochinoshin to fully blossom. It's the 2018 New Year's tournament where he won his first top division championship. Let's play back the tournament to see how the Georgian accomplished the feat. On opening day, Tochinoshin met Shodai. He took control of the match from the jump by establishing his favorite left hand outside grip. In the end, he forced Shodai out with little trouble. On day two, Tochinoshin simply overwhelmed Arawashi with his sheer power. The following day, he took care of Okinoni without breaking a sweat. Facing Ozeki Takayasu on day four, Tochinoshin attacked with all guns blazing.
He got driven back to the edge, but miraculously won the match by thrusting Takayasu down before stepping out of the ring. On day five, Tokinoshi went mano a mano with Ozeki Goedo before eventually outmuscling him to go 5 and 0. On day six, he had a date with an up and comer Komusubi Takakeisho. Tochinoshi was able to completely shut down Takakeisho's pushing and thrusting attack and won the match convincingly to remain with a perfect record after six days. On day seven, he was in a match against Yokozuna Kakuryu, who also was undefeated at 6 and 0. They're going after each other hard. Kakuryu gains a decent shallow grip in an inside position. The Yokozuna marches and puts Tochinoshi away. The perfect record showdown goes to Kakuryu. Tochinoshi suffers his first loss. But Tochinoshi regrouped fast. He got himself back on track by dispatching Yoshikaze. On day 9, the Jojan crushed Mitakemi by a lift out. Tochinoshi simply blew away Koto Shogiku on day 10. His day 11 bout against Takara Fuji was a close one. It appeared as though Takara Fuji had forced the Jojian out, but evidently it was Tochinoshi who thrusted down Takara Fuji at the last minute to take the match. As a result, Tochinoshi remained at just one loss. Tamawashi's high octane offense wasn't much of a factor as Toshinoshi held his ground to rack up his 11th win of the contest. On day 13, Toshinoshi went power against power with 200 kilo plus Ichi Nojo and won the match by forcing him over the straw bales. Day 14, the moment of truth. Toshinoshi entered the day with a chance to clinch his first top division championship. His opponent was his arch-rival, Shouho Zan. The two combatants made their pro debut exactly at the same time in the 2006 March tournament. Shouho Zan is teeing off on Tochinoshi. Tochinoshi is taking few nicks, but he's holding his ground. Tochinoshi shoves, but Shouho Zan refuses to give in. Shouho Zan with a nice move to the side, but Tochinoshi maintains his balance. He catches Shohozan with a firm grip, forces him back and out of the ring. Tochinoshi clinches his first top division title. <laughs> On day 15, with the championship already under his belt, Tochinoshi faced off against Endo to put the icing on his championship. Tochinoshi quickly gained advantage by seizing a right hand upper body grip on Endo. Endo puts up a valiant effort, but it was no match for the poised and confident champion. Tochinoshi finished the contest with a final record of 14 wins and one loss. <laughs> Later on in his career, Tochinoshi became the first man from Georgia to earn promotion to the second highest rank of Ozeki. He came up short of realizing his ultimate goal of making the top rank of Yokozuna, but his never say die attitude to overcome numerous adversities won the hearts of many sumo fans. And in the May tournament, 
Tochinoshi announced his decision to retire from sumo. ま、怪我なって乗り越えたんですけども、ま、今回もま、乗り越えるんじゃないかなと気持ちの中で信じてました。ま、残念ですけど、ま、今場所も迎えてみて、もうやっぱり自分の相撲を取れなく力も出なく